Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are Edmondson County's number one source for local news and information. Tonight's entertainment. Edmondsonvoice.com. I almost forgot how entertaining this could be. With Jamie Carnes and Darren Doyle. We don't need no thinking budget. And now, here's Jamie and Double D. Good evening, good morning, good night, good whatever it is, whenever it is that you're watching this program. It's the Edmondson Voice Show. It's our very first episode. It's our first attempt at a vidcast, whatever that is. We hear that it's a podcast with video, um, whatever. We're going to try it. So we appreciate you clicking on Edmondson Voice to check this out tonight. I'm your co-host, Darren Doyle. On the other side of me, you know him. You love him. Hopefully you love him. Jamie Carnes. <laughs> Glad to be here, Darren. Yeah. You know, normally Jamie and I are, are doing ball games. Um, ball games are shut down along with everything else in the entire world. And uh, you know, we understand why. COVID nineteen has just basically taken over the planet, it seems like, or that, that's what everybody's talking about. Uh, our guest today, now when we booked this guy as a guest. We did not even know what COVID-19 was, but since that time... We were happily ignorant Yes, COVID-19. And uh, man, how things can change in a few weeks. Patrick Merritt, CEO, A-plus Healthcare. And, uh, Thanks for having me, Darren. Thank you, buddy. Uh, so COVID-19, man, what's up with that? How's it affected what you do? Yeah, man, COVID-19, it's, uh, it's consumed our lives for the past few weeks. Um, being a healthcare, running a healthcare facility, uh, we've noticed that patients throughout the community, they're, they're scared to come to the clinics. Um, we've seen this, you know, throughout from here to Bowling Green, sure. um, all across the nation, people are scared to go into clinics. Um, I would say that if, um, if patients need to be seen, um, try to reach out to your providers and utilize telehealth at all possible. We're trying to t totally push towards the telehealth side of things right now because we can treat people face to face with a provider still. Yeah. Um, so I, call in. Call in. Set, make an appointment. Right. Yeah, just like you normally would. Right. You just won't come into the office. Right. So it's it's really it's really an amazing tool. And they have to have an app to do that, right? Um, actually, it's interesting. Um, there's a lot of debate about this right now. So we utilize a, a ha an app called um, Halo. It's um, our EMR, which is the software that we use. Um, it allows us to use that app that opens up on a tablet or a phone that lets you talk face to face. But there have been some guidelines that have been, I guess you could say, red tapes have been cut to where they're allowing people to utilize Facebook Messenger. Um, FaceTime, things of that nature, to uh, see face-to-face -face if people don't have access to those types of applications. But if you're utilizing a smart device, you should have access to those apps. So COVID-19, you know, obviously it's affecting everything that we're doing here uh, these days in Edmondson County. And Jamie, as a school, uh, as a district administrator, uh, obviously school shut down. Just We, we just found out that it's going to be shut down for at least another week. So, you know, how are, uh, you know, what's some of the things that the school board is uh, looking at for COVID-19 right now? Well, basically, we're just trying to follow the governor's recommendations in social distancing, obviously uh, keeping people at home as much as we can while still trying to provide services for students all over the county. And that includes uh, not only educational services, which our teachers are doing a, an outstanding job. I just can't, I can't brag on teachers enough sure. during this time because right. they are going, you know, way above and beyond so what they normally do to to take care of this stuff and, and to get education to kids. And, and that's well-deserved, yep. uh, that applause. So uh, naturally, they're going to be doing those things as our absence from school continues. Also, um, our, our food service folks are doing a great job in getting meals prepared. We're actually delivering meals mm -hmm. to kids uh, that normally would get a chance to eat in our lunchroom. Sometimes, unfortunately, those meals are the some of the only meals those kids get, right. at least solid meals, good meals that they get a day. So... Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on that the school district is, is in the middle of uh, because of this virus, and uh, we're, we're doing all we can to, to keep the kids educated and healthy. Well, I know, uh, you know, I've got a, I've got a student that's uh, my, my child. My youngest daughter is a student at ECHS. She's been doing her NTI work, you know, every day, mm -hmm. you know, making sure that she's doing that. Uh, in the meantime, she's going bored and, and she's getting bored and driving all of us insane, but... Uh, uh, no, big props to the school system for, uh, you know, the measures that they're taking, uh, you know, obviously, uh, uh, you know, 
I, this is a word that I don't know if I've ever heard as many times in my entire life as I've heard over the past couple of weeks. Unprecedented. Everything we're doing is unprecedented. And it is because every day it's something different. It's something new. Um, but, uh, you know, so we joked um, before we went on, you know, that we weren't really practicing the recommended guidelines for social distancing because we're still a little bit. That's OK. We got Four plenty of hand. Apart. Yeah, we got hand sanitizer here on the table. So we're not taking this lightly. Um, I bet there is no telling how many times I have washed my hands and, um, you know, I'm sure you guys are in the same boat. Oh you know, yeah. What, what you're doing over the past few days, uh, or a couple of weeks, uh, need, needless to say, but all right. So that's enough COVID-19 talk. Everybody else is talking about that. Um, we could sit here and talk for days and hours about COVID-19. Everyone and, else is. That's right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from people here to Evanston County all the way to Jaina. Um, so <laughs> we're not going to go there as much as we may or may not want to. Um, but what the, the whole purpose of the Edmondson Boys Show, as I spit on my microphone, the whole purpose of the Edmondson Boys Show was to talk about local people, get local uh, people in here, and, you know, most people know th that know you, Patrick. They know, you know, you're the CEO of A-plus Healthcare. Right. Uh, you know, that's pretty boring. Yeah. Okay. We don't really <laughs> want to talk about that stuff. Uh, you know, I wouldn't just want to be your friend. Nobody really cares about, about that. Yeah, okay. I understand that. So they want to talk about, you know, maybe some things that they don't know about Patrick Merritt. Now, sure. I've known you for a long time. Right. You and I have a lot of the same interests. Right. You know, behind the scenes, but besides our work, you know, and right. our work causes us to cross paths you know a lot of times but sure. um you know you're into music yep you play guitar yep um you are into um electronics home theater yep you're a huge nerd when it comes to that stuff oh yeah absolutely and i've i've really bothered you a lot oh whatever with, with, with that kind of stuff. tv questions um, the tv questions and surround sound and speaker cables and all that um pyrotechnics oh man yeah that's my sweet spot. See, I don't even know what to ask. <laughs> most people don't. About that. Yeah, I mean. Most people don't. Uh, yeah, pyrotechnics, it's one of those things, you know, used to when I was a kid growing up, my dad, he would get fireworks from like Tennessee. You know, we'd make, well, a, of trip, course. We'd make mean, a trip to Sad Sam's. Right, go to the state line. Oh, man. It's I didn't deal. know you could do that until a lot later in life, until somebody told me that they're actually fireworks that explode <laughs> in Tennessee. And you know, I would get these little smoke bombs. You know, that's what my parents would get from me. Of course, I'm sure they were trying to keep me from blowing my hand off. <laughs> well, there's four words that you don't want to see on, on, on fireworks. If you see this on a fireworks, you know that it sucks. Emits showers of, of sparks. sparks. Yeah. That's one you want to stay away yeah, from. Those are Kentucky. Okay. Those used right. to be Kentucky fireworks, yeah. So... But yeah, long story short, man, I grew up and my dad would always get fireworks every year. We'd have a reunion and uh, we'd shoot off fireworks. And then I always loved it. And then as I got older, I was always a computer geek growing up. I was an STLP uh, growing up in school. I don't even know what that is. Student Technology Leadership Program. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, it was cool. Um, it started up in the 90s, I think. Um, and we were one of the first groups of kids that actually came through that. And uh, anyways, computer geek growing up, fireworks. One of my good friends, State Trooper Daniel Pretty, we always shot them by hand. And then I found out there were guys across the whole globe that do electronic fireworks shows in their backyard. And I'm like, this is cool. Okay, so now you probably don't have, you know, within the 15 minutes, we got, I don't know, oh, seven, yeah, or eight, seven or eight minutes left on this particular, you know, episode. But uh, so give me if, I don't know, I'm, I was going to say break it down for dummies, but I think we're all dummies when it comes to this stuff. Uh, so I, how does this work? How do you? You got to have a license to I mean, do this? you don't have to have a license. No, it, I mean, we shoot... I mean, we shoot stuff that requires license. Um, you do have to have what's called a 1.3 explosive ATF license if you want to shoot the big that stuff. That sounds... It's, that's But but I will say this. <laughs> most keep, impressive. <laughs> most impressive. <laughs> to keep it short, though, consumer stuff, they have consumer stuff now that's borderline. They call it Pro Series, and it doesn't have fuses on it. Like, you have to, you have to ignite it with an electronic firing system, and you have to have a wholesaler to purchase this stuff from, so it's not like you can go up to a tent and buy it. But anyways, long story short, I write a script in Excel, I tell what to fire, when to fire, to go with the music. And we purchase the products knowing what we want to shoot, when we want to shoot it, and we shoot like a mirrored show the entire time. So it takes about six months to shoot a good show um, from start to finish. You just blew my mind. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess. Enough mm -hmm. of the fireworks. But well, yeah, they're, they're, I love them. You sing this them. to music? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I build my soundtracks. Um, this usually starts out with something of Def Leppard or Guns N' Roses. And don't, don't say don't that. Don't ever say First, Def Leppard yes, in this studio. <laughs> Didn't have time to warn you. Ever again. 
And I'm not joking. That's hilarious. <laughs> In fact, just forget it. Forget the fireworks. All uh, right. Forget it. All right. On. Family life. Family life. Yeah. Married. You got some kids. Got a, I'm married to a, I have a beautiful wife. She's a nurse. So she's fighting COVID-19 on the front every day. Oh, dude. Frontline worker right yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's enjoying that. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I've got a, I've got a five-year-old little boy who's doing NTI work every day too and challenging my ability to do NTI work every day. No doubt about oh, it. Oh my gosh, man. No I walked in the it. other night and my wife, um, she showed me the NTI work he did and I was like, in kindergarten, I didn't know, I barely knew what colors were. <laughs> I mean, and these kids now, they're, they're, they're impressive what teachers are teaching our kids now. No doubt about it, man. Um, so, and of course, obviously live here in Evans County, been yep. here for pretty much, I'd say. My whole life. Your whole life? Yep. Okay. Born, born and raised in Pig. Awesome. Oh, yeah, man. Okay. Pig's a great community. Do you, when you, when you explain to people that are not from here, that yeah. you're from Pig. Right. What? I mean, it's surprisingly, most people have heard of it and they're like, do they have like, is there a restaurant there? Yeah, there is. I mean, Pig's famous all over. It's, sure. It's crazy. I, I was in D.C. and people had heard of Pig. So it's pretty incredible. All right, so let's move on down the list. I was just thinking about Moving some on. stuff we want to talk to you about. Yeah. Um, we talked about, uh, you know, uh, you you play guitar, you like music, you're into music. Love guitar, um, yep. So what's, uh, what's the last song or artist that was playing on your playlist? Uh, driving over, Joe Satriani had two new tracks released. He's a he's a virtuoso guitarist that I've he was the reason I started playing guitar. Okay. And uh, he had a, he's got two new tracks that just come out. And I love it because so much music, country music, pop music, it all intermingles today. Sure. It's not it's like is that a pop song, a country song, a rock song? But like that instrumental rock is still instrumental rock. I right. mean, and it's <clears throat> it's a huge passion of mine. I love it. But that was on my playlist today. What about uh, all right, Jamie? If I ask you the same question, what was the last thing on your playlist that you played? Oh gosh. Probably some Night Ranger. Night Ranger, nice. Uh, if I had to think about that for a minute, but that's that's probably the, some of the last stuff I played. Uh, always dug the, the the power rock bands from the eighties. Right. You know, I won't mention some of those, but uh, good. <clears throat> you know, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was always into uh, the harder side of things, but I, I listened a little bit of everything too. Sure. I was a country music fan and uh, a fan of. I listen to classical. You know, if I get a chance going down the road. Turn it on. Right. Just want to relax a little bit, you know. Burning rubber, song. listen to classical well, music. Well, you know, it, it, maybe some of it, <laughs> you know. Maybe more like that, uh, I don't know, that, that Scandinavian symphonic <laughs> rock type stuff. <laughs> All right, Patrick, back to, let's go, let's go to movies. Sure. All right, I'm going to ask you, Star Wars? Never seen Star Wars. I knew that was coming. I knew that question was going to happen. Never seen Star Wars. <laughs> I've, I've seen one of them. Um, Stop. What? What? <laughs> Where forget have you it. been? What have you been watching? Watch okay, forget it. I don't even want to. Touch it. No. no, we're not even. I going know to talk it's about bad. It. I know it's a source. No, of I it. said stop. So I, no, <clears throat> we're not going to do that. Okay, forget that. Let's talk about TV. TV, TV shows. Are you, first of all, are you a are you, are you a streamer? Are, do you have satellite or? Are yeah, you a, I do have satellite because of the Golf Channel. I know that sounds stupid, but well. um, I pay a crazy bill for Golf Channel. <laughs> um, but no, we, we stream a lot on Netflix and Hulu and of course. What shows are you watching right now? Are, are you a shows guy or are you a movies guy? I hate movies. I don't have that much time. Okay. If I have time, I go play guitar or I, I smoke, I go out and smoke Boston Butts or Ribs. I don't spend time behind the TV, but I love The Office. I've seen it like six times. Okay. Favorite show of all time, The Office. I'm actually, I just finished Jack Ryan. Amazing Oh, show. that's a great show. Oh, it's a good show. It's a great show. Yeah, season, got... season, they're recording season three right now. So, uh, Jack Ryan's amazing. And then I started watching, um. 12 Strong, um, it's a new show that, uh, or it's a, it's a movie actually about um, 9-11 and the first men that were deployed over in Afghanistan and stuff. So, cool. Yeah, 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 just some random shows like that. But yeah, we're, we're TV show people. Let's see, that Jack Ryan stuff, man, He's that's solid. that's pretty solid. It's hard to see Jim yeah, and at, that first, kind of, and, and at first, at first. I know. It's, it's hard to, you know, right. you got Jim from The Office, right. who's this kind of skinny goofy guy kind of goofy guy and right. then that's not what he is in, no uh, man he's he's a doctor in jack ryan yeah and uh he's slick he's very knowledgeable and um he works all the angles so it's really cool to see it and watch how it all unfolds throughout the season together. what is something most people don't know about you that you would like for them to know man, don't know about me I mean, i'm a super giving person i love to give um <sighs> I know we're all so busy in life. Everyone is crazy busy. Everyone works 40, 50 hours a week. And, right. we, you know, it's, it's very rarely do we ever slow down and think about others and try to give. I mean, J you know, Jamie and you guys do some initiatives with the school district and things like that where we give food back to the communities and things like that. But um, I always try to find ways, whether it, you know, without 
getting recognition for it to try to find ways to give back to people. I think a lot of people would have known that about you, but I didn't know you play guitar. Oh man! Until yeah. Darren told me here a while back. So. Yeah, you know, and it's funny. I self taught. I'm nothing like Darren. Darren's amazing. Oh stop! I, I remember Darren coming to my middle school and uh, like playing oh, for everybody. God. Was that when you were trying to give lessons or something? I don't know. Man. <laughs> I don't know. You come in with a cool hair, and I think he still has that. Cool that was hair. Still yeah. Does. I, that was back when I had black hair. <laughs> but I think you, you were either playing a Strat or a Telly. I don't remember which one, but. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, it was That's awesome. Nice. But yeah, he, he was. Thanks for making me feel 100 years old. <laughs> All right. Guys, our 15 minutes is up. Oh, man. I told you, I could go it's just like that. Like that. Yep. Hey, here's what I want you to do uh, for you guys that are watching this video, whether you're watching it on directly on Facebook or whether you're watching it on EdmondsonBoys.com. Comment below um, on potential future guests that you'd like to see. If you've got somebody, you know, we're looking for somebody that's here in Edmondson County that may be well-known, maybe not, but something that's got some, uh, you know, interesting, uh, I don't know, some, a background that you may know of that you would like for other people to know. Uh, let us know. Um, tell us how we're doing. Tell Patrick how great his hair looks um, because, hey, not everybody can pull that look off. It's I'm rough, serious. Man. It's rough. You know. I don't man. have a choice. Well, yeah, but hey, you do it well. <laughs> Thanks. You do it well. All right, so this is the uh, first one's in the books. Awesome. Jamie, thank you. So far, so good. So yeah. far, yeah. I mean, nothing's blown up, caught on fire. Uh, we got to talk to Patrick a little sure. bit about a lot of different crazy things. Uh, keep doing what you're doing at A-plus Healthcare Clinic and throughout the community. Awesome, Darren. And, thank you, buddy. Uh, EdmondsonVoice.com, Edmondson County's number one source Good evening, for local. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's, we are. Let's try it again. See, that's that's, <laughs> that's why we do it. You know, that's that, that's why we we try this a little bit at a time. So that's the one I'm trying to hit right there. So this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Edmondson Voice Show. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>